with the Wads Up channel. How are you guys doing? Thanks for joining me today. Uh, today we're in beautiful British Columbia on this great point spot here for the weekend uh, setting up base camp. Now you're probably here because you're doing some research on generators and or solar panels for your off the grid overlanding power and charging needs. So today I'm going to share with you what I've chosen for all of that. And I'm also going to dive into uh, some of the reasons why I've upgraded from a previous system that I used to have. Uh, I'm going to share with you the pros and cons of this system over some of the competitors. I'm going to show you where I've got the solar panels all set up. So uh, shall we? All right, guys, first things first, this is the generator that I've chosen. This is Energy's lithium battery generator. It's called the Apex. So, 25 pounds, so it's lightweight. It's actually pound for pound, one of the lightest, if not the lightest battery generator on the market. Other generators that are even remotely close in terms of watts um, are at least double the weight, if not triple, 1100 watts, 2000 life cycles. So completely discharged to completely charged, 2000 life cycles. That's one of the highest rated life cycles I could find on the market. Next closest one was the Yeti at 1450 watts, but it only had 500 life cycles. So the energy is four times better in terms of life cycles, which is protecting your investment. In the past I've used Energy's Kodiak generator. It was also an 1100 watt generator. I uh, used that for almost a year. No problems with it whatsoever. It's an absolute workhorse. Uh, that was the unit before the Apex. The Apex is brand new, just came out. The reason I've upgraded to the Apex is because the Apex gives you the ability to at a glance see how much power you're pulling in from your solar panels. That was key for me because I wanted to be able to visually see at a glance what was going on, how much power I had and how much was I pulling in uh, so I could estimate when I was gonna lose power, <laughs> when my beer was gonna get warm. Let's get into the solar panel. So with the solar panels, guys, you can charge this thing up from completely dead as a doornail in 15 hours, which is nice because if you're completely off the grid and you have no access to power and this dies on you, but you've got some sun and you're obviously going to have to have some good sun to do it in 15 hours. But it's nice to know that you got the panels, you can completely recharge. Model crystalline. So there's the... Uh, What's the other one? Oh yeah, polycrystalline. This is the monocrystalline, much better in low light, which is good on the West Coast because you got lots of overcast days and you still want to be able to capture power. So let's get them hooked up. Real quick, here's your 30 foot cable for um, your solar panels. Oh yeah, it's a nice solid connection. All right guys, so we just climbed down from the rooftop tent. We've got the 200 watts up top there. They're charging away like crazy. Charging for 10 minutes, I've already got 10%. It's a really cool feeling to be able to capture power from the sun. It's such a great feeling to be able to harness <laughs> mother nature. And it's reassuring knowing when you're in the middle of nowhere that uh, that you're, you're, you're charging up your generator to store power for your, your cooler and all of your needs when you're overlanding and off the grid camping. So that is my very first experience pulling solar power. So I just had to share it, it's really cool. So if you're looking to find out more information guys or save, use the WADS up code W-A-D-Z-U-P. That will give you that discount I was telling you about to bring the Energy Apex generator uh, down to exactly uh, with par or on par to the Yeti Goal Zero. I'm gonna bring it on all my overlanding, dirt biking trips and off-roading trips uh, for all my needs and my family's needs. Um, and so uh, I'll keep you guys in the loop. You know, uh, we'll, we'll give you updates as we go along here and on our adventures and you know, uh, if it starts to peter out, you guys will be the first to know. But my Kodiak, double thumbs up on that. This is the new improved Apex. Check it out guys. Thanks for joining me. We'll talk to you later.